according to Lao Tzu, the great Chinese philosopher, who gave us the gift of wisdom, Tao Te Ching, around 2500 years ago. There exists four different leadership styles. Let us take a look at the different kind of leaders going from the worst to the very best. The worst kind of leaders are the ones that people despise. These kind of leaders rule by brute force and people can't wait to get rid of such leaders. And ultimately, such is their fate. I guess even the word leader would be wrong for such kind of people. The word tyrant is a much better fit. The next kind of leaders are the ones that people are scared of. Now people listen to such leaders, they follow such leaders, but only because they fear them. Like I said, they listen to such leaders, but they do not respect them. Their only reason for following such leaders is because of fear. Now let us come to a much better kind of leadership. By the way, these kind of leaders are the ones that are often called great leaders by our modern day society. The thing about these leaders is that people love such leaders. They praise them. They gladly follow them. Why? Because they want to, not out of fear, not out of force, but because of sheer love and respect. Now in the beginning, I said that Lao Tzu presented before us four different kinds of leadership. We have discussed three leadership styles so far. What could be better than the last kind of leadership we discussed? A leader whom people love and praise. It turns out that there actually is a better kind of leadership. Now only a leader with a great sense of self-awareness, purpose, inner confidence, and security can follow this style of leadership. Let us describe it. In this case, the leader is not hungry for power. He is not hungry for fame. He does not even care about leaving behind his legacy. Now, how does such a leader work? This kind of leader enables his people. He creates the grounds and the circumstances for his people to succeed. And then he goes about empowering his people. Don't get me wrong, he's there in the front when his people need him. But mostly, he is content to watch his people take the lead. He trusts his people. And in turn, his people trust him. He instills self-belief in his people. This kind of leader 
is always ready to give credit to his people. You can say his work is selfless. And when this kind of leader's work is done, he quietly exits. He thinks he's no longer needed because he has enabled his people. Such a leader quietly fades away, not looking for fame, not looking for any credit, not looking for any glory. Now let us turn back to Lao Tzu's original words on such a leader. A leader is best when people barely know he exists. When his work is done, his aim fulfilled, they will say, we did it ourselves. Do you know of any such leader?